basement of Lapenta. This is WICR. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Hall. I'm your host with the most, Jersey Joe, and it is a good time to be watching Cleveland Cavaliers basketball. Last night, the Cavs winning their seventh game in a row, beating the Detroit Pistons 103-95. to And just the thing that's impressed me the most during this winning streak is the defense really has been stable the entire time. Now, last night was probably the least impressive win of that streak, but... The thing that really was important to me watching was the defense was there. And I think that's the biggest thing is maybe the Cavs are not still the best team in the league. Probably not. They're, maybe they're still just a good basketball team. But there's no excuses for the defense to fall off. They've shown in this streak that they can lock down for an entire game and play really good defense. My mindset in basketball has always been the offense is a skill set, defense is a mindset. It's something you've just got to buy into, and I think they absolutely have. And the one player who I think, look, let's take away LeBron for a minute. We understand that when LeBron needs to, he could defend any position in the league. He's the best defensive player when he has to be. We've just seen it time and time again. There's no argument. But Kyrie Irving is just, his emergence and his just progression is, on defense has just been phenomenal. He's a guy who's just becoming such a matchup nightmare because he's affecting the game in every play on offense, on defense. He's coming up with key rebounds and key situations. Situational awareness really tells you how smart of a basketball player you are. Kyrie Irving's situational awareness has just expanded to another level and I was sitting there after the game last night, and I was kind of thinking about it because one of the parts of LeBron's letter in the summer that really stuck out to me was when he said, I think I can help Kyrie Irving become one of the best point guards in our league, and he most certainly has. Now, a lot of people will probably say, well, Kyrie was already a pretty darn good player, and he was before LeBron came, but he was a good player. He wasn't a great player. He's a great player now because of everything he could do. I don't think, I think he was still kind of lacking in his development before LeBron came, didn't play defense, wasn't always the best at getting his teammates involved, more of just a very lethal scoring guy. But now you see with LeBron, he's just so dynamic. He could do everything. I mean, you're watching, he's he's hitting key shots when he has it. Offensively, he could do whatever you need. He can, he's become such a good shooter. And I think before the season, that's one thing that people uh, criticize him a lot for was off the dribble, he wasn't exactly a great three-point shooter, but, I mean, you just watch him, and he's just knocking down shots. I mean, he's worked on his game tremendously. Even in the beginning of the season when the Cavs were going through their growing pains, you really did were kind of upset with Kyrie because it seemed like he wasn't getting his teammates involved. He, was being, he wasn't playing like a point guard had to to win. He wasn't setting up the offense. He could do it all now. I just love watching him, though, on defense because... I think a defender has that kind of that look in his eyes when he's just he knows what he has to do. His his eyes are fixated on the guy he's defending, and you just see that in Kyrie. You see that he's just kind of that he's got that fiery intensity in his eyes now, and I just think it's been a joy. I mean, watching him move his feet on defense, the energy he has on both sides of the ball has just been phenomenal. Even when the Cavs had that rough street a stretch when LeBron was out. Kyrie was playing fantastic basketball. Ever since he came back from his from that little injury where he was out a couple games, he's just taken his game to another level. And obviously, LeBron being back changes everything. But Kyrie and then LeBron, it's kind of so similar. It's almost strikingly similar to the Miami Heat. We saw Dwayne Wade and LeBron were that one-two punch. And then Chris Bosh was a very, very key third player. I think we're kind of seeing the same thing. Chris Bosh, his game dropped off a little, a little bit. I mean, look, he was still a matchup nightmare because having to account for Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh all on the floor at the same time, it's almost impossible. Someone's going to get theirs. And we're seeing that now, too. Now, I think Kevin Love's game might have fallen off a little bit more. But still, it's still very early. He still has a lot of time. He's still figuring out how to play this way. He's definitely played better during this stretch. 
And the one thing he has done better than Bosch did was the rebounds just disappeared completely for Bosch. Bosch really just stopped becoming a guy who was just affected the play around the basket. Kevin Love is still affecting the game greatly at the basket. So that's one thing that he has still done that Bosch, I think, didn't. But Kevin's still learning how to play. But we're just seeing now Kyrie and LeBron, the two of them, I think you can just see it in their chemistry now, the way they interact with each other. I mean, there were some points at the end in the fourth quarter where that game could have gotten kind of close, and Kyrie just kept on with dagger, 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 I mean, on both sides of the basketball. And I think him and LeBron kind of know it. The two of them are the ones who are going to lead this team. They're the one-two punch. Everyone else is along for the ride, and I just think they're embracing it now. I think LeBron and him understand Kyrie's a very smart guy. You could just see, like I said, situational awareness tells you everything you need to know about a basketball player. Carmelo Anthony doesn't have it, and that's why I don't consider him in the same class as some of these other guys. But Kyrie and LeBron have it. It's just been a joy to watch. They're playing their best basketball of the year. And like I said, I might be going a little bit overboard, but I just think the one thing that's promising is they've shown you, and like I said, there's no excuses now. This is what they've shown you they can do. And it's different from the Heat because with the Heat, when LeBron first showed up, it was kind of, they got off to the rough stretch, and then it was very stable from there on. I mean, they kind of, they figured it out. They kept on winning. The Cavs with this new era was they had the rough start. They seemed like they figured it out. They were playing very well, and then they went back into a rough patch. LeBron being out is a significant part of that, but now it seems like they're out of it again. Now, they can't go back to that up to another bad stretch. I don't think they will. Maybe they drop a couple games in between here and there, but I think for the most part, this is it. They have their new players. J.R. Smith has played very well. Timothy Mozgov has been unbelievable. He's the rim protector that they need. He's getting critical rebounds. And Amon Shumper is the wing defender they've desperately needed all year. So I think the pieces are now all starting to come together. They're figuring it out. And I think this is it. This is the Cavs we've been waiting for. This is the team we need to see, we wanted to see. And I think we are seeing it, and we will continue to do so. Offensively, I, I have no worries what they can do. They are just at, in a different level when it comes to being able to score the basketball. The one thing that's going to have to continue to stay is defense. They've shown that they can just grind it out. They could stop you from start to the end of the game. Last night, it was in spurts. It wasn't always there, but when they really needed to lock down for a little bit, they were able to do so. And that was even the story with the Miami Heat with LeBron. I mean, there were points where the defense kind of was a little sloppy, but when they locked you down, it was over. And I think we're seeing that again here. It's it's almost it's cr- almost unbelievable how many comparisons can be made between the Heat when LeBron showed up and now this Cavs team. It's I mean they're very very similar cases, but it's very fun to watch. We all want to watch good stuff in the NBA. Some people need reasons to watch, and I think right now, if you haven't been watching and you just watch this Cavaliers team right now, you're going to be very surprised. Their energy is fantastic. They get up and down the floor. They're just enjoying playing with e- with each other, which I think they weren't enjoying as much. Of course, the growing pains made things a lot more unpleasant. It was difficult. People weren't happy. I think you could just see the whole mood of the team now has changed. It's a joy to watch. They're having fun playing together, and I, of course, am enjoying watching it. But that is going to do it for this segment. Be back later in the day. Thank you all for listening, and you all have a great day.